Welcome back guys. We're uh, out here checking snares. We're uh, currently at the sand pit gut pile and picked up this nice looking coyote. So dad's gonna cut him out of there and we'll take a look at him. Yeah. I just bring side cutters to cut the cable which isn't ideal. Kind of hard to cut with uh, just side cutters. I do have actual cable cutters at home. Yeah, that's Should why probably. you give them to me. And you know what? I don't know. About, uh, I don't know if he knows how to sharpen them, but I hope he keeps his nice, nice sharper that he skins these things wet. Oh come on! I just got more muscle. What well, whereabouts? <laughs> Yeah, towards the back is where you... Now he's going to tell me how to use it. I hope you got enough video there. We're getting there. You getting it? <laughs> I'm getting it all right. You want me to cut it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I think I heard a little snap. Yeah, I think that was your wrist. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So the snare was set uh, right between these two trees. Um, I had been walking in just to the left of this uh, birch tree. My trail would come through and then uh, up through the bush here and I got a few snares. One over there, uh, one right there, one in here and one down in there. And uh, <clears throat> they uh, started following my trail. So I, uh, I put the loop in, in between the two trees instead of on my trail and I had put that dead tree leaned up so that they had to go through uh, the two trees and then I had had that dead one leaning up on that side. And every time I come in here I just stepped over the dead tree made a big step and come through but uh, anyway this guy couldn't resist going through the trees there and we uh, got him and he was dead dead when we showed up so that's always nice got himself wound up uh, pretty good yeah. yeah it looks like a good size yeah so there's the support wire there you can see you leave it there now yeah I'll leave it for now what about all this junk yeah, that stuff will have to come out eventually. When you bring your wire cutters? <laughs> Need some fresh snow. We've got uh, quite a few catch spots now and I want to reset, but uh, with all the uh, disturbance here, I usually wait until we get a little bit of fresh snow on top and then I remake the set you can see right there is where we caught the last coyote uh, this is the day that we caught the wolf there last check three days ago <clears throat> but uh, yeah with no snow falling we uh, just haven't reset those spots so first coyote of the day and actually all we got left to check is uh, is the home bush. It's been pretty quiet. We uh, we checked all the other bait sites there and and uh, hardly any tracks. Now mind you it's uh, snow. Yeah. The snow we got is starting to crust up. It was minus 13 there last night. So Everything froze up. It's been melting every day. You didn't just stop it? 
No, I take it back to the truck. Yeah, that's fine. I'll rebuild it there. Yeah. Another mail. Okay. Finally, some mails. So, anyway, we'll take this guy back to the truck and go from there. Okay, we're back here in the garage. Actually, it's later that evening. Um, so we just picked up the one coyote there at the sand pit. Uh, I got him skinned out actually already. He's upstairs cooling. Uh, gonna hopefully flesh him up there tonight. And uh, yeah, really, really nice male. Um, I'm wondering if he wasn't uh, kind of maybe a bit of a cross in between the, the coyotes and the wolf. Um, he just seemed a little bit bigger than normal maybe. Maybe he's just a big male. But uh, really, really nice coat on him. Um, pretty good belly for a male. Um, usually the best coyotes I get for belly wise is uh, off the females. But uh, this guy was uh, quite nice, quite nice. Uh, really nice back hair, really nice mane, um, real nice long hair. Good big fluffy tail on him, and uh, yeah, so glad to pick him up. Um, here are some of the coyotes. There's the wolf. This one here is the wolf. You can see out past the board. I just have uh, my my boards are meant for uh, coyote wolf. Um, they're not an actual wolf board but anyway then we got this guy this is the one we picked up where did we oh this was in the sand pit too same day that we picked up the the wolf but you can see the difference in color there um this guy's got like a brown real brown tinge to him so Did the feet up on the on the wolf so all the nails are on pads are cleaned I got uh, I've got um, borax in uh, in all the feet same as the bottom there <clears throat> but I've got the lip split anyway yeah, so coyote uh, today did make coyote. <coughs> oh, sorry, it's strong in here. We're painting. We uh, we are redoing a sleigh there for behind the pony for the kids. Just got this sleigh oh 20 years ago, and uh, and it was old then. So um, it was time to redo it. So we took the steel runners off and the measurements. And uh, we got 90% of the pieces cut out. Um, and then I got them all painted uh, today. So tomorrow we'll start putting it together. And then uh, we still, I still got to cut out the sides for it. And, uh, and then we'll give her one last coat of paint. But uh, yeah, so that did make coyote number 18 there um, today. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Uh, so we'll have at least 18 coyotes and, and a wolf. And uh, about, let's see, uh, probably about a pound of caster to, uh, to go to fur harvesters uh, a week from tomorrow. Uh, there's a truck coming through. So <coughs> they, did, uh, they did cancel their January sale, as most of you guys probably already know. Um, but... Uh, the fur route, the fur truck is uh, still going, so which is really good because I got a bunch of uh, supplies coming from the uh, the uh, trap store there, and uh, yeah, I definitely need uh, my supplies, so 
I'm glad that they're still sending out the truck. Not to mention, I'm glad that they're picking up the fur still too. But uh, yeah, I I say to that, I really hope that we can uh, maybe make it uh, 20 coyotes. So we got to pick up two more coyotes here in the next few days, because uh, obviously I got to still skin them and get them dried, and it takes uh, it takes about four days to get them properly dried. I could probably squeeze it in four if I really had to. Uh, but yeah, it'd be really awesome to, to be able to ship 20 of them there at the, t at the same time. So, but anyway, we'll see what we can do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. Leave us a comment. Let us know how you guys uh, trapping season's going. And uh, feel free to share. So till next time, guys. Ciao.